Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, February 9th, 2020. Got a free pick in the NBA coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below this video. It's located in the description box. You click on that link and you set yourself up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. All right, uh, we're going to get to our free pick in just a moment. Uh, real quick, want to talk about and do some house cleaning from Saturday's card. Now, we go four and four overall with all eight of our uh, premium picks at DocSports.com. So, obviously, nothing special. Four and four doesn't sound horrible. It means you might have lost the VIG, but it was a little bit worse than that for me on Saturday and those who jumped on board because we ended up half a point short with Utah State on our top play. And that was the difference between a real nice day, five and three, and a very nice day, four and four, and a worse day than a four and four record would indicate. Uh, listen, they had their chances. They were up double digits uh, into the second half of that one. Merrill got into some foul trouble, and that was that. They lost their focus. The bench wasn't great, and uh, they end up coming about a half a point away uh, from covering the point spread. One more bucket, two more free throws, either one, and they get the cover. Problem was, is they just kind of folded up the tent there for a while after owning that double-digit lead at both halftime and in the second half. And again, this line was eight and a half, nine on Friday night. It went to nine and a half early Saturday morning. It went to 10 during the course of the day. And I don't want to make it sound like, oh, you should have got in early. No, we like this up to 10. It's where it got. They just didn't get there. No excuses. Uh, they just came up short. And unfortunately, that happens sometimes. But boy, it is painful when you lose a game by half a point. No doubt about that, especially when it's a big play. And I know some of you who jumped on board also used Utah State as a big play. So it's been a real nice run since December 20th in college basketball. Not so much yesterday. Let's get back on track on Sunday. And as always, we're going to tell you how we did win or lose, whether we're happy or not so happy after a day of basketball or pucks or football, what have you. So uh, we did win in the NBA. We went 1-0, had a nice dog with the Brooklyn Nets who came back and got the cover in a one-point straight-up loss, but a cover for us over Toronto. We had uh, Edmonton in the NHL. We split our fights. We went 1-1 one one in the UFC, but we showed a profit again uh, because it was our two-star that lost. A two-star was a short dog, and our four-star happened to be a win with another short underdog. That was Batista. So listen, the last couple of fight cards, we've picked up about 13 units of profit. We'll talk more about the UFC when we get closer to the next fight card, uh, so you can jump on board if you wish. But uh, again, overall, four and four, but college basketball cost us Utah State. Enough whining. Uh, let's get going with Sunday, and let's move on. But I do appreciate those of you who did jump on board, and I certainly uh, feel for those of us who lost that game by half a point. Uh, here's what's going on for Sunday. NBA, I've got one play. It'll be up at 1 p.m. Eastern and 10 a.m. Pacific. We're going to go for the weekend sweep in the NBA. Really like one particular side on Sunday. Would like more sides on Sunday, but I'm going to tell you what right now as we get closer to the break, the All-Star break, be real careful about jumping in on some of these teams because they're doing some strange stuff. They're experimenting a little bit as they get closer to the break. And I'll give you an example. Houston's laying four tomorrow at home to the Utah Jazz. Houston's last time out, they got whipped. So you think, all right, a couple of buckets. I'll lay four with Houston coming off a loss. Hey, they might get the cover, but I'm not going to play it because they've been very comfortable with this experimenting they've been doing during you know long stretches of game time where there's nobody on the floor bigger than 6'7 for Houston. You go up against this Utah squad, and a guy like Gobert, and you don't have anybody out there to match up with them uh, for a you know, good stretch of time, a couple of points during the game. It's going to be tough. So listen, uh, we had to pass on that game, had to pass on a couple of games for that matter because of, of situations and strange occurrences like that, but we do like one play quite a bit. It will be up at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. College basketball, one play on Sunday. It'll be up at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We look to get right back on the win streak that we've been having since December 20th until yesterday. Let's look to put one right back in the win column on Sunday. And uh, again, XFL, we're 1-0. We cashed with Houston on Saturday, 37-17 win as a six and a half point favorite. I've got one side on Sunday. It's also available right 
right now at DocSports.com. Let's get that 2-0 sweep week one of XFL. So plenty of action going on on Sunday coming off of Saturday night. Let's get to our free pick in the NBA. Uh, the Clippers taking on Cleveland. Now the Clippers got whipped in their last time out. Uh, they played Minnesota. Minnesota overhauls completely overturns their roster for the most part. And the new parts come in and have a big game. Carl Anthony Towns picked up from it also with these new faces coming in and joining him on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the Clippers, who had their guys. I mean, they had Kawhi Leonard on the floor. They had Paul George on the floor. But as Doc Rivers said, they did not show up in that particular game last night. I think, even though we're probably not going to see Kawhi Leonard, he usually sits out the second of back-to-back -back games, uh, that we're going to see a very focused effort by the LA Clippers. I don't care who plays, as Doc Rivers and his team was thoroughly embarrassed yesterday and did not show up at all. You should have seen some of his comments after the game. So probably no Kawhi Leonard. Paul George looks like he's going to give it a go. Hasn't played in back-to-back -back nights since, uh, boy, late December, around Christmas time, but he wants to start getting himself back into shape, so we could see Paul George here. But whether Paul George plays or not, I think the Clippers roll in this game. I think it's a bounce-back game for them. So uh, recommendation on the Clippers. They are really strong off a loss, 23-7 and seven against the spread off their last 30 straight-up losses. And when they lose by double digits, they're 7-1 and one against the spread the last eight times where they lose by more than 10 points. So Clippers are the free pick. And uh, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.